Hi, welcome to JustCollect.com. Today we have a collection, some of you may have seen this on the news over the summer. Um, this was a collection that was found, uh, some animals were scurrying through some crawl spaces at a home in Jersey City, and a gentleman lost his cell phone while I was trying to get into there and had to tear a, open a wall in his daughter's bedroom uh, to get his cell phone back, and all of a sudden these paper cards from the 1920s started falling out. Uh, as you can see here, it's a bunch of uh, strip cards from 1920, 21, 22, 23, primarily baseball. There's also some boxing. Over 260 pieces in total started falling out uh, onto his floor. Um, some major stars, a couple big ones we'll save for the end. Um, you can see a few of them here. Conditions all over the board. You have Rogers Horns being Wally Pip, first baseman that played before uh, Lou Gehrig took over for him. Condition and cards are a little bit of everything. Like I said, primarily early 20s. These cards were known as W cards, came on strips uh, as, as promotions in uh, candy stores. Kids would take them home, cut up the individual cards. You have Home Run Baker, Wilbur, Roberts, Wilbur Robinson, uh, Sam Rice, a few additional Hall of Famers. There were also some boxing cards, including Jack Dempsey. Another Jack Dempsey uh, on here. Some President's cards. Some movie stars, movie actors, and actresses. And you have the W551, Babe Ruth. The 515 2, Babe Ruth again. These cards were rather crude for the era, uh, just artistic renderings. You have a 1925, uh, 519W, or Dash 2 rather. Uh, this is the unnumbered version of Ruth with the blue background. One of the early, early cards uh, of the era style, um, with the error being the right handed throwing. It's a reverse negative of Babe Ruth. This is the 516 uh, Dash 1 Dash 2. Additionally, we have uh, some Ty Cobb cards. And another W551 uh, of uh, Casey Stengel. And these cards were lost behind a wall for probably 90 years, 80, 90 years. There was nothing else to kind of date it past uh, 1923. Um, great find, great purchase. Cards we'll be offering up in the very near future. And this goes to show behind every hope wall and every beam. Under every floor, there's probably something. And this one, this one came out of a hole in the wall. So, thanks for joining us. And remember that JustCollect.com is always buying vintage sports and non-sports cards from 1879 to 1979.